Nine o'clock on a rainy night, and I'm still in the office, sorting paperwork. Thunder booms outside the window behind me, the sound of the raindrops smacking against the glass, attempts to soothe my troubled mind. There it goes. The last paper. Now a fine stack sits atop the desk, half illuminated by the small lamp across the way. I run my hands over my suit, straightening it up as I rise to my feet, hands stuffed into the pockets of an old gray trench coat. I head towards the door. As I grasp the knob, something calls my attention. A voice mumbles its way into the dimly lit room, chuckling, as if mocking me. <laughs> Why the rush? The deep gravel-filled tone seems an all-too-familiar chill up my back. The question goes unanswered, a fruitless attempt at ignoring him. The silent treatment isn't gonna get us anywhere. I perk up and turn to face him. Shadowed, gray skin rests like silk underneath the brim of a faded black cap. His aged clothes lie baggy against his body, only drawing even more attention to his eyes. Those eyes, those piercing white eyes that haunt the soul they stare into. I've seen them before, and I'm guaranteed to see them again. Finally, I humor him. Why here? Why now? It was the first thing that came to mind. Two simple questions that I often find myself asking every time he's around. You ought to know by now that I seldom have reasons for what I do. I'm here because I am in the time is as good as any. His tone is dry. I can tell he's in no mood to mess around. Despite what he says, he does have a reason. Evil always does. I'm leaving, I blurt out as I push the door open. Before I can step one foot out, it slams shut in my face. It was him. He's keeping me here. Not so fast. You know, it's rude to walk away from someone who's trying to talk to you. I can feel his ominous glare crawling along the back of my neck. He knows I'm nervous. He knows it's him that makes me nervous. He knows exactly what buttons to push and which ones to leave be. Can we make this quick? It's been a long day, and frankly, I'm rather tired. He smirks at my words, his black smoky mist filling up the corners of the room. Whatever you say. <laughs> Mind if I ask you something? How many people know about me? I sigh, looking at the plainly colored carpet beneath my feet. He's not going to like the truth, but lies aren't any better. I recall the events of the last few weeks and gaze back at him with a somber stare. Same ones who always have. Good. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> he chuckles once more, leaving in a cloud of black fog. Next thing I know, I'm waking up at my desk, the rain calmly falling and the light gently flickering. The low-toned buzz of the hallway bulbs fills the otherwise silent office space. I rub my eyes, realizing it was another dream. I look at my watch. 
Lucky me. Ten minutes till nine. Ten minutes till closing time. <laughs>